Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. You are next. Woohoo. All right, Scorpio. Woo. I'm out of breath a little bit. Okay. So this is going to be a timeless read for you. Um, welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. I don't know if I said that already. I probably said it already twice. <laughs> so this is a timeless read. Whenever you find this reading, it's for you. However, the video will be dated for January. Um, what else? Do we have anything else to go over? No, I just read for Libra. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to Libra spirit guides. Thank you for being here. Now we're going to welcome in Scorpio's spirit guides and spirit team. We have Archangel Michael already here. Da -da -da -da. Round of applause for Archangel Michael, <laughs> who has kept our sacred space protected and in the flow. Um, all right. If you have the sound up, you might want to turn it down because I'm going to use my bell to clean the sound. Clean the, clean the sound. <laughs> clean the space. Ooh, it's going to be noisy. All right. That's how I um, cleanse the space in here. Because we have crystals everywhere. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in. Scorpio, what does a Scorpio need to know right now in this moment? Let's put my charms there. Scorpio, reading now for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? So I hope the reading is a little bit more pleasant. Feels like all of the signs are doing some massive shifting and the lessons have not been very pleasant. You know, in order to for their energy to shift um, into our highest timelines right now, which is the age of Aquarius, the shadow work has been really intense for all of the signs. None of us have had a very pleasant January, right? It's, it's been, there's just been a lot of heavy, dense energy being shifted. And like I said, in order for that to happen, you know, we have to get out of the old and into the new. And sometimes the experience in between, while things are shifting into the new energy, um, we have to experience the... The karmic lessons closing up in order for new to come in. Old has to be closed, right? And sometimes that's not a pleasant feeling. Knight of Swords. Do -do -do -do. I'm going to set them down here. I will show you them as they come out, though. Scorpio. Three of Wands. Three of Wands, the sun, da -da -da -da. so much happy, happy. Ace of Wands, wow, what new is coming in for you, baby boo? I'm getting a cramp in my wrist and too much shuffling. Y'all are my third read, read of the day. I think after this, I'm going to be done. All right. Let's go ahead and try to interpret this energy for now. We have Knight of Swords and Three of Wands. So there's a certain energy of trying to make decisions very quickly in regards to our future. Let's not do that, Scorpio. <laughs> do not do that. My advice would be to not try to rush into any major decisions, especially right now with the energies being how they are. Mercury just went straight. Okay, it is no longer in retrograde. It is now on a forward path. However, we just shifted into the age of Aquarius. And now, okay, I mean, though we are in the age of Aquarius and 
and, and Pluto is going forward, I think what's going to happen is another planet, I'm not sure which one, it might be Pluto, but I was reading that another planet is going to be going retrograde again. And so we're going to go, what's going to happen is we're going to go forward and then we're going to go backwards. And so that being said, any decisions that you make right now and fly into, you might later start to regret them. Okay. Especially if you're going in gung-ho like, boom, I know what I want for my future. <laughs> and then you're looking out and you're going, oh, I'm not quite sure, right? My advice would be to slow it down. Don't be hasty about any decision making, okay? Because our goal is to get here, which is the sun energy, okay? You know, I don't see anything really bad happening if you do decide to speed up your decisions. I just don't want you to have any personal regrets is what I'm saying, okay? It looks like if you do decide to make the decisions very quickly because you have to or you are forced to, that, you know, it is going to end happily for you, right? It's the, the sun card's about happiness. So we have Ace of Wands. You have something new coming in, Scorpio. Um, oh, I, I can't remember if I told you this, but this is a general read. It's not a love read, okay? As of right now, I'm refraining from doing any love reads because, um, you know, you guys asked for reading, general readings. You didn't ask for love reads. So I think before February starts, so I am going to put up another voting, voting poll to see what you guys are wanting to see. All right, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. So the Ace of Wands is, is something new coming in for you, Scorpio. A new job, a new relationship, a new business endeavor, something new, a new house, a new car. I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be different for all of you, but something really huge, a huge blessing new is coming in. Okay. And it's going to be really emotionally satisfying. The sun came out with the ace of wands. So also with the three of wands, there's this energy of like waiting, 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 looking out. There's nothing happening. Boom something coming in quickly a shift and it's happily ever after right it's this energy of like woo finally in the manifestation i've been waiting for and it's going to bring you so much joy and not only that right it's going to give you emotional fulfillment so this could be a new relationship this could be love right king of cups deals with emotions it's about emotional fulfillment so it very well could be a relationship so for those of you looking for a new relationship i see this can be a new relationship coming in it's very possible king of cups can be an offer of love so yes or an offer of marriage right this is known as the perfect husband card so if that's where you are waiting on there's your confirmation if it's a new job, it's going to be something which emotionally is fulfilling. It's going to, you're going to be very passionate about it. It's going to feel really good. And then we have the generosity card. Look at this. It's six of pentacles. Everything even out, evening out financial wise. Being able to give and take, equal energy, equal give and take. Whether this is equal give and take in a relationship or whether it's equal give and take. There's shadow. Or whether that's equal give and take financially, you know, um, if this is about a new job, it's going to go very well. You're going to have lots of money to donate and to give to charity. If this is a new relationship, this person is going to match your energy perfectly, Scorpio. It's going to be like both of you are reciprocating this energy of love. You're going to love them. They're going to love you back. You're going to say, I love you. They're going to parrot it back. You're going to give, they're going to give. You're going to receive, they're going to receive. It's going to be pretty damn spectacular. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the other deck. Ooh. I love this energy for you. You Okay, but I'm I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy, Scorpio. This is turning out to be a good reading for you. <laughs>
Wow. So it looks like for some of you, this is definitely a new relationship. We have the lovers and it says choices, choices, choices in regards to love. Who will you choose? What, what path will you choose in regards to love? A decision to be made in love, Scorpio. Some of you possibly could be choosing between two lovers or two options, right? Some of you could be choosing whether or not to love, but I don't think there's very much of a choice. <laughs> These two are already entwined. Right? There is already an entanglement, <laughs> so to speak. And I don't mean entanglement like, you know, cheating. I'm just saying like their, their tails are entangled, right? It's a joke. Okay, so we have King of Pentacles, trust. Wow. So this is about having the energy of trusting yourself, Scorpio. I feel like you've stepped into a whole new level of trusting yourself and your intuition. It hasn't been easy. It's taken a lot of patience and a lot of time. But here's what's going to happen. The minute that you learn to trust yourself fully and fall into that trust and surrender of trusting yourself and also trusting the universe, look, there's going to be a transformation. We have death, which is transformation. New life springing forth from something that was stagnant, right? And this is some kind of financial abundance coming in as well. Something worked really hard for financial wise, you know, coming to fruition. Whatever you've been doing for work, Scorpio, it's going to thrive. Or the new job or um, the new endeavor that you're going to be working on for those of you that are like searching for a new job. This, this new energy of newness in regards to your work and finances, you're going to really love what you do. You're going to be very passionate about it. Seven of Swords. Whoa. Energy was weird for a second. Wow. Okay, so I see that when all of these wonderful things come in, my beautiful Scorpio, you're going to be really, really afraid. There's anxiety about losing what you've achieved okay and just know that you do deserve all of this beautiful energy Scorpio you do okay let's get one more card and if you are worried about if this new person that you are you know, entangling with whether or not they're loyal. We just pulled the loyalty card, which is Knight of Pentacles. It says loyalty. It could be a possible earth sign. That's the earth sign energy. They could be a younger earth sign. We have seven of swords, loss, and nine of swords, anxiety. So that's where I was saying, like, I don't see this as actual loss. I see this as you being anxious, you know, feeling like, Maybe I, you know, I don't know if all of these, you know how you get in this feeling of like things start going well and you panic and you're like, oh my God, it's never been going so well in all my life. Like when is it all going to fall apart? And then doing that and thinking those thoughts sort of spirals us into the things happening bad. So beware and keep a positive outlook because all of these good things, you do deserve them, Scorpio. You do. Okay, let's get the final messages for Scorpio, please. From this deck. Okay, so we have the Emperor and we have competition, okay? 
So this is order, which is the emperor, and five of wands competition. So I see you putting your, your best foot forward at work, right? The emperor is this energy of like in your boss energy, okay? It's very masculine, um, bossed up energy, okay? So there will be a little bit of competition in this new position that you're in at work, right? But I see you're going to sweep the competition out the water. That's what I'm seeing, okay? So no worries there, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and get a spirit message for you. I'm going to get these cards off of here. Let's see. All right, what is... What do we have for Scorpio from the spirit deck, please? All right, so we have 24, third eye chakra. I see the wisdom of my higher self and I apply this wisdom in my life. Good for you, Scorpio. Good for you. Okay, good for you. Um... Continue to allow yourself to be guided by your soul and by your inner wisdom. Trust yourself, even over your spirit team, okay? you In reality, you work together with your higher self and your spirit team and your guardian angels and ancestors, right? But at the end of the day, you have to trust yourself more than you trust anyone. And you have free will to make all of your decisions. So by all means, please allow them to guide you, okay? Allow their spiritual insight to guide you, but always follow the, the inner guidance of your beautiful soul. Sorry, Scorpio. It is so loud out there. One second. Okay, sorry about that, Scorpio. All right, so let's do the math here. We have four and two. It's number six. Wow. Again. So six is the number of blossoming spirituality. You, you are your spiritual path. You have decided Scorpio to take the path less traveled. You are um, expanding your spiritual practice. You know, your spirituality is really important to you at this time. And it shows, right? The wisdom of your higher self is with you daily and it's just popping, Scorpio. All right, let's go ahead and get an Oracle of the Unicorn card for you. Kudos to this beautiful energy of enlightenment. It feels oh, peaceful. Can I say it feels peaceful? My children are out there being so loud. And their dad literally just came home from work. And he is not even telling them to be calm. <laughs> it was so frustrating. The lessons we are all going through. Mine? Yes, patience. I need to learn that right now. Patience. Pause before you take action. I told you, Scorpio. Didn't I say not to rush in? I told you to hold on one second. All right, sorry about that, Scorpio. Sometimes it can be a little exhausting being mom and dad, but I manage. <laughs> Their dad is out there, and yet I'm still being dad. <laughs> that just goes to show you how put together I am <laughs> in life. Patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Okay, so I did in the beginning say be careful not to be too hasty and to just make these decisions about your future and about your life because of this. <laughs> Spirit literally said, pause before you take action. Trust in the divine timing of your journey. Spirit and the universe and source God or whoever knows the right time to bring in the things that you are requesting and they know when you're ready and they know when you're not. And so they want you to just focus on having fun until they can bring in all your good shit. All right, so here are my charms. 
see the story behind the charms, Scorpio. I'm going to dive into that with you. So I had all these charms. I wasn't quite sure what to do with them. And so I went into meditation, spoke to my spirit guides and got all of these um meanings for these beautiful charms i'm gonna actually show you <laughs> two pages of meanings for all of these charms it took a long time but it was so worth it because now i have another way yet to divination to divine to divine to you know divine for you my followers my subscribers you know everything that i do is divination right so let's dive right in we have a regular meaning and then the love meaning is in parentheses most of them have a meaning a regular meaning and a love meaning meaning and i will do both so my eyes are closed you're gonna have to trust me on that and i'm just gonna go ahead and pick one out Ooh, we have the bow can you see it Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> it's clear, I think. All right, the bow. Let's find it. All right, it says, wow, I love that. All right, so it says the bow, the bow for the love meaning. It says a deep soul tie, the red string of fate, or a twin flame. Oh, incredible. Oh, my God. So the new relationship, the one that I saw, the two tails combined. Beautiful, beautiful Scorpio. <laughs> Only you can know if this person is your twin soul. But I would say, I'm reading the energy. Okay. And we got the charm of confirmation for you. So I'm going to go ahead and say, it's very possible this person that is on your mind is your twin flame twin soul whatever you want to call it i prefer the term twin soul but you can use whatever term you want okay not to be confused with a soulmate a soulmate is the relationship will be easy twin flame is very triggering okay they are you and you know it is not easy to face yourself if you're not ready so there's that all right um the red string of fate, I don't, I, I think we talked about this before. It's a Chinese um, legend, I guess, or story about a red string of yarn which attaches two twin souls and it keeps them in each other's energy forever and it can never be broken or cut or severed. And no matter how far apart they are, the string of fate will, it can twist and turn and stretch, but never be broken. So eventually that string will bring them back together. And I think it's really beautiful that the bow, they decided to use the bow to represent that because it's absolutely beautiful, Scorpio. Okay, so the regular message for that is feeling tied up or too busy and a little bit overwhelmed and that energy did come out with the nine of swords the anxiety and stuff so relax <laughs> my love relax if you are feeling a little bit overwhelmed and too busy i would recommend meditation it has changed my life and if you're too busy for meditation, then you need to meditate even more. <laughs> I start every morning by, of my life with a five-minute guided meditation. If you do not have five minutes to give to yourself, Scorpio, then you have far more issues than we need to get into. Allow yourself, my beautiful Scorpio, at least five minutes of undivided attention and love for yourself give yourself at least that you deserve it and you know you deserve much more you would deserve an hour of uninterrupted time for yourself right but if you don't have that like i don't have a lot of time i homeschool my children 
I have three kids um, and they are all homeschooled and I have chores and I have you guys. And so, yes, I understand, you know, the busyness and the grocery shopping and the this and the that. But please, if you want to give yourself a gift, five minutes of meditation in the morning, five minutes at night, I promise you it will change things in less than a week. Give it four days. My challenge is to give it four days. Four days, that's all you need. Start out with a five-minute meditation every day. And, and use guided ones because they will help you. Um, you don't even need to do anything. Just listen to the, the voice and relax, relax, relax. Okay? That is my advice for you, Scorpio. <sighs> if something resonated, please like the video. Subscribe. Completely free for you. Share with all your amazing Scorpio friends. I love you so much. Bye, Scorpio.